The reason that I became a prosecutor is uh, a rather roundabout story, lots of twists and turns in there, uh, but the reason that I stay a, an assistant prosecutor is because of the chance to have an impact on the child support program. Uh, many years ago, I decided uh, that I wanted to stay uh, in order to make the child, to, to be a part of making the child support program a better program for the families that we serve. And so while I got here in a rather different way than many other assistant prosecutors, it's that, it's the ability to, to serve families in the child support program. Well, I always wanted to be an attorney. I wanted to go into corporate law uh, and I really wanted to work with uh, corporations, uh, helping them uh, in doing legal work in that field. Uh, when I went to law school, I swore I didn't want to do family law and I didn't want to be in the court and I wanted nothing to do with the criminal aspect. And so uh, as a result, I ended up doing all of it and I ended up falling in love with it. So we had, uh, we had twins right after I graduated from law school and it was because of that that I took a year off and then uh, 18 years ago joined the Wayne County uh, Prosecutor's Office. And so that's how I got into child support, spent some time in Cuyahoga County uh, before joining Summit County a couple years ago. And really grateful to be here. The best part about being a prosecutor for me is the ability to work in a, an area of the law where it combines both um, the law and administrative uh, program. Uh, so I really enjoy working in the child support program. Uh, and we can work with parents, and, which is really one of the best parts of the job. So parents are working every day to support their children and to make sure that their children uh, are, have everything that they need. We work with so many partners in child support to make sure that the best interest of the children is being upheld in the state of Ohio. We work with employers, we work with the courts, we work with local attorneys, and so many more. And, and that's uh, working with parents, working with our partners, is really one of the best things about working in the area of child support. One of the more difficult things about being a prosecutor, even though some of those things are also the things that I love, um, are that there, there can be multiple answers because in child support, we're always working with multiple sides. There are always two parents uh, who, who have input on what uh, should happen in a case and what they, uh, what they believe uh, should be the right answer. And so oftentimes in child support, because of the area of the law, there can be multiple answers to the same question. And so it's uh, understanding and knowing which, uh, which answer we're going to go with, uh, even if we could argue both sides of it, and then being able to, uh, to understand that there, there are impacts to each, either path we choose uh, and being okay with that uh, ambiguity. You know, the, the law continues to evolve in child support, which is a good thing. I think that uh, more research is being done so that we understand the impacts of our program and why we make the decisions we do. Um, but sometimes uh, not knowing whether that was 100% the right choice or not can be, can be challenging when you know that other children on the other side of that decision. So, so many parents uh, provide the child support that they were ordered to pay. Uh, and uh, sometimes there are various struggles with trying to find the ways uh, to do that. But most parents want to support their children. Most parents, uh, and, and we celebrate that. Uh, and probably some of the more challenging aspects of working through the financial and the emotional sides of child support are you know, either working with a parent who has chosen not to provide for their child or has uh, come up against a barrier to supporting their child uh, and working through those. Sometimes those are long-term solutions uh, and there are so many layers when you're working with parents and families. It may not seem like a, a large story, but for me it, has, uh, it really has uh, driven some of the ways that I approach child support and one day many many years ago I made a decision in a case uh, and the mother in the case was um, did not agree with the decision I had made and she took the time to write to me she wrote a very very long letter to me and she included pictures of her children uh, in with the letter and it was their sports cards 
uh, photos from, uh, I, I think they had been playing baseball, it's other baseball and softball photos, and she, she wrote to me about how my decision had impacted her and her children, and she closed the letter by telling me that she was including the pictures because she wanted me to see uh, who the children were who were impacted by my decision. And while I'm not sure that I could have made a different decision, the fact that she wrote to me and the fact that she enclosed the, the pictures of her children, I kept, I actually I still have those pictures uh, because I try to keep her comments to me in the back of my mind at all times that there are children at the other end of every decision. And I think sometimes in government, we have to make so many decisions so quickly and sometimes it can become um, either second nature, or, but I've always wanted to remember that there are children, that are in, there are children and families who are impacted by every decision we make in government. And so I do believe, and she helped me to see that, that we have to work our absolute hardest, especially when we're in government, to do the best we can uh, for the families we serve. And so I, I keep her photos to remind me that there are children at, at the other end of every decision and to make sure that I'm, I'm not, um, to make sure that I don't ever become uh, too removed from that fact, to make sure that uh, the children and the families are at the center of everything we do in government uh, and they deserve our very best efforts. One of the misconceptions is that child support is easy. Uh, and in child support, we have uh, federal, state, and local rules that we uh, must follow. There is, um, and, and it's, a, it's a wealth of administrative law, it's a wealth of, uh, of codes in the Ohio Revised Code that set the boundaries on what we can and can't do in child support. And sometimes people think that we should be able to um, address maybe um, different areas of of their family uh, life. So maybe we should be able to address custody or um, another, maybe we sh they want us to take another action. And, and so often uh, we do have to explain that no, our role is limited to the child support function and we do have to follow uh, the local, state, and federal guidelines on what's allowable in the Title 40 child support program.